stars at night are big and bright deep in the heart of Texas. What do you think, man? Because Texas is a big, it's a big issue right now in the world. Everybody's talking about it. They're out of power. The snow has covered their entire land. ICE has broken all of their uh, Green New Deals. You know what I mean? Like, what, what are we going to do here? The Green New Deal couldn't save them. Ted Cruz couldn't save them. When, uh, when Father Frost hit. Yeah, and he did. Smacked a home run in the, in the Lone Star State. Old man Winter yeah. came in and decided... Uh, he called his shot. Yeah. He called his shot. Do you think that there was some sabotage? Like somebody might have like fucked up the electrical system over there just to cause Texas some trouble? I never, I never even... I'm not saying it's not possible, but I didn't even consider that. You know what I mean? I just you know looked at the aftermath of it, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I know, you know what I'm saying, you know, we've had, you know, a couple cases in this area, it hasn't been a while, but we've had a couple cases in the past and shit, man, where we got, you know, really, really hammered, you know, in a similar way. You know what I mean? Just, like, I, the only thing I would say to that as far as, like, I mean, the snowfall is the snowfall. I mean, we can't control that shit. Or can we? Um, but, one of the one of the big things that I saw in Texas that is something that really didn't happen here with us, was you know part of you could say one of the failings in their in their infrastructure is their you know their water system plumbing and piping yeah you know it's not built for something like this no. you know what I'm saying because you know it's, I mean I've never been to Texas but to the best of my knowledge bro like they don't get sub freezing temperatures down there you know what I'm saying they're used to just straight missionary and. They got surprise anal. <laughs> surprise anal. Look it up. No, don't look it up. I, I'm just kidding. Don't look that up. It's... But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because like, like, I gather, you know what I'm saying, in Texas, you know, for the, you know, for this time of year, like, I'm sure it gets cold at night and shit, but, you know, not like up here, you know, not like, you know, places up north and shit, you know what I'm saying? But bro, they were like at like, like sub freezing temperatures for like 24 hours and shit, man, you know? And, you know, I saw, you know, pictures, video footage. Um, Here's a picture of a possum frozen to a fence. That bitch trying to climb up the fence. God. They got his stupid ass froze. Damn. Man. Look at this ball, good. Poor nigga. Man, I wonder if that ball gonna come pop back up when he thaw it. God, good. you know, that is some, uh... That's cold. Yeah. When the possum can't even get over the fence. Man. It freezes to it. You know what I mean? Fuck, man. Dude, that makes me feel like just like the proximity to the earth was keeping him slightly alive. And when he came off the earth, like the wind was like, <laughs> he just fucking froze, bro. God damn, man. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, he's, he's a living embodiment of the movie Frozen. I have my I have my suspicions that maybe one of those forks on the fence was stuck to his jaw, and he couldn't get like he was stuck to the fence. It kind of looked like it, because his face was at a spot where there would be a fork. I'm just saying, uh, that's a possibility. I but mean, it doesn't change the fact that it was still cold as shit. Cars broken down on the roads. Motherfuckers having to walk for their life. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, that motherfuckers was. 
but was forced to sleep in their cars just to try to stay warm and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then like a byproduct of that, you know, some people, you know, were doing that, you know, with the cars in the garages and shit like that. A lot of people died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Like lots of different shit. Man. Toilet I mean, papers. I mean, toilets were frozen. Yeah. Toilets. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's just, you know, the pictures that, you know, people, you know, threw out there. You know what I mean? We don't even know what the fuck's under the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, they still got to dig all that shit up, man. But, you know, that goes into the whole point about the fucking infrastructure, bro. Like, you know, they weren't prepared for that. You know what I mean? And the thing about it is, man, it's like, I don't want to... You can't prepare... I I don't know if you're about to b- say you don't want to blame anybody. No, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to say it's a slight. You know what I mean? Because you know what I mean. That those type of extreme temperatures is not is, is something that's foreign to Texas. You know what I'm saying? They well, don't get cold like that. Well, there. I'm just saying when it comes to weather patterns and when it comes to natural occurrences, mm-hmm. humans are helpless. We could have everything we fucking think we have, and it could just be completely overrun by a you know. A fucking typhoon or a, you okay. know something. I got you. Okay, but I, I'm gonna use Japan as an example, right? Japan is a country <laughs> that, that's known for having earthquakes and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I gather. I mean, I've never been to Japan, but I'm you know using common sense. Here, you know what I'm saying? I I gather that you know as you know, you know the country grew, the infrastructure grew, blah 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 blah. You know they pulled back on history. Um, for you know, what I mean, for you know, some of those, you know, the, <laughs> those patterns as far as weather, natural disasters, and things, and how they can, you know, adjust to it, and you know, what I mean, in, in a better way. You know, you know what I'm saying? So what you're saying is that based on the based on Japan knowing the structure of their land and the history of their land, they build their buildings accordingly. Exactly. And whereas Texas, they don't actually have a history anyway of ice. Right. Ha- of ice freezes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They don't have freezing temperatures. Yeah, they don't have this they, they don't have this night. shit going on. This reverse fucking volcano effect where everybody's frozen in place but in ice. You know what I mean? Can you imagine that? Like the two extremes of, of like dying like one is you get melted by a volcano and you're frozen like a rock for mm-hmm. all eternity, and the other is you get completely frozen solid and you're frozen as well. It's weird how both extremes leave you in the same, same state. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, in the same. It's kind of weird how that works. Mm-hmm. I guess getting blown to bits is a whole different story, but we're talking about ashes to ashes. <laughs> to dust. But yeah, man. Well, how, let me ask you this, then. Um, how does Ted Cruz leaving on vacation factor at all into all of this? Because I, from what I, from what I've get, from what I've gathered, mm-hmm. he arrived on Wednesday. This whole thing started on Tuesday, so mm-hmm. that means he knew about the power outages as he was planing up, as he was boarding to get out of here. At least, at least when he was boarding, he knew. You think so? You know, I don't I mean, know. How, he's, I mean, he's governor, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he'd be in the loop. Exactly. Now, as far as it being serious enough, though, I can see people down in the lower structures being like, there's a fuck up. Don't tell the big guys yet. Let's try to fix it. Let's try to fix it before we go and tell the boss that there's a disaster. Mm-hmm. I mean, that could add a couple hours to the scenario, maybe a day to the scenario. Um Right, but see, like to that to that point though, and I'm sorry to cut you off. You know, when you start talking that time frame, you know, that's when you got to start start to question. You know, how much time need to pass before you start to consider something a state of emergency? Yeah, well, that's up to almost everyone. And, and I mean, think about uh, just recently there was a mine collapse, and all those guys were stuck in that mine. I think it was in some Asian country. I, I don't want to be uh, racist, but. They're all the same to me. And um, <coughs> they all got, it's like the collapse happened and the people involved did not report it for two days. And the people were stuck underground for two days. I think, you know what I mean? Like, without nobody knowing. Because the guys involved, the foreman, the people in charge, just trying to get them out. didn't tell. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so, like, so, you know, again, to that same point, as far as the time goes, at what point will you start to consider that negligence? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm right, saying? and that part—that's part of the issue <coughs> with you know with Ted Cruz, bro. Is you know what I mean? Uh, 
I assume that the general sentiment from a lot of the people affected by this shit is like, motherfucker, you abandoned us. You abandoned us to go hang out in the fucking islands. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be pissed about that shit, man. Like even more so if you if you're a public figure, you hold a certain seat, a certain office and shit, man, you know, you assume responsibility for people. You know what I mean? And this shit pop off, my nigga, <coughs> and you hop on the plane and dip out, what the fuck? Niggas gonna be mad. Right. How yeah. can you expect motherfuckers to not be mad? You know what I mean? <coughs> it's like, you know, whether they live in an apartment or a fucking house or a fucking mobile home, bro. You know what I'm saying? They ain't responsible for fucking how the pipes and all that shit are put in the ground. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, because, like, like, think about it like this, too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, so, you know, pipes freeze and shit. You ain't got no water, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't take a shower. Like, what the fuck are you going to do to use the bathroom? Even more so if you got a shit. You know what I'm saying? Store shelves cleared out, like, when COVID first started. You know what I'm saying? Niggas in a bind. And your motherfucking ass in, in the islands. The fuck, my nigga? All right, so here's the devil's advocate part. Because hearing you say it, yo, hearing you say it with, like, such a... Uh, Fervor? With such, uh, you know, angst, music, disdain, music in your voice. It's okay. like, what, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Hearing somebody say, what the fuck? I mean, come on. You immediately want to go, yeah, but like they could be completely wrong. It's like my whole, if you're, you know, surf all day, mm -hmm. like I can rob people all night and surf all day. It's like a way to make it seem right. But if we play devil's advocate here, what if you had a vacation booked to Bermuda mm -hmm. for the for the for the winter? Mm -hmm. As many as many wealthy people do. Many wealthy people they they book I mean, out and they go for the winter. Wealthy people, sure, but when you start <laughs> talking politicians, especially with what you know, with how this whole shit transitioned from the end of twenty twenty to the beginning of twenty one, that motherfucker should be going nowhere. That nigga should got plenty to be busy on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you had, if it was like fucking your time and you had a vacation planned at your job, and they were like, "Nah, it's too busy," but you have had this vacation plan since last year. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now it's time to go. Everybody's ready to go. Fam, everybody's ready to go. Mm -hmm. And you can say no, right? To you can to yeah. your job. You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can say no because it's already you gave them plenty of prior advance. If they have any issues with their company that's their problem i see on on, on, face, on face value i understand everything that you're saying bro but when you're a public servant i think it's a little different you know what i'm saying i got you you know what i mean and i i've never been you know in that shit so i can't speak to it personally and shit but like like even like even you know whatever whatever do you know jimmy john and shit you know what i mean he playing his vacation and shit you know what i'm saying like you could tell the family to go sorry i can't go Right, right, you know what I'm saying, and, and like even more so, like I said, bro, if you a public servant, bro, you responsible for people. Now here's a, here's another part. If you did get called in to work at your job, it's because you have a specific skill set they need. Sure, and you're gonna be you being brought in and during that time period is going to help. It's gonna make sure everything gets done. Now, are we saying that Ted Cruz is such a competent leader? He's such a good leader that he, if he was there, we would not be having these I'm, problems. I'm not saying yes or no to that. That I'm he just, could fix them. I'm not saying yes or no to that. All I'm saying is you, you assume the position. You know what I'm saying? You assume the fucking position. You know what I mean? So, he, he chose that. He has his job. He chose that. Everybody has a job. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, is like you know, his position holds more weight. But that's not actually... Then the motherfucker working at Home Depot... But that's not the, actually a fact as far as the rules of employment are concerned. Right, but but that's not what we're talking about here, though, bro. I know. People are you know mad. People are mad, right? But everybody gets... People get mad at McDonald's employees for fucking things up. I got people it. People get mad all I got the it. fucking time. I got it. But the difference is, is that he is in a position of power. You know what I'm saying? And he assumed that position. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's just like some cases and shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, some serious shit could go down, my nigga. And you could be, you know, XYZ country and shit on assignment. Like, you need to bring your ass back here now. You know what I'm saying? And you go. Which, right. which he did. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, what, see, the part... That, I mean, I already explained it, bro. But I'm going to play devil's advocate to your devil's advocate. No, you're just playing the devil. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, playing, I'm playing the part of the people that's feeling this shit. I, right, so, right, so right. So, hear me on this. All right? Angry, so, like, ones that are like... Nah. But go ahead. I mean, a lot of people got a reason to be angry. Right, here's why. Nah. All right, so... We're in a pandemic, 
right? So we'll we'll argue. You know, a lot of people are not working. You know what I'm saying? We'll argue. A lot of people are. You know, you know, having to rely on you know the governmental assistance, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? Right. So for the most part, my nigga, you're confined to your house, right? Now here, congratulations. You have no way to keep your house comfortable and warm for you. Oh, by the way, your toilet doesn't work either. Oh, and by the way, the dude that's responsible for y'all, this dude bounced out with the fucking Cancun. Oh, and coincidentally, uh, most of the people in the nation think that you guys are all racist and Trump-supporting homophobics. That's besides the point, man. He's still fucking people, bro. Yeah, I know. Still Should fucking we, people. Do you, do you think everybody thinks that way, or do you think that there's some people who are like, let's let them fucking I mean, I don't even, bro, it, it, ain't even, it ain't even about the way people think about the shit, bro. It's just about the simple fucking fact, bro. People, <laughs> people are still people. You know what I'm saying? And if How, you you can't be like it's not about the way you think, it's about the facts one minute, and then be about it's not about the facts, listen, it's the way we think the next. Well, I mean, I'm saying that is a simple fact. You know what I'm saying? People like, bro, I'll put it to you like this, man. You have motherfuckers that be screaming and hollering, doing all this goddamn shit, screaming for, you know, what the fuck goes on in other countries and how the people are suffering there and shit. Meanwhile, we got the same shit going on here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, preach, brother, man. You know I'm fucking to hear you there, dude. You know what I mean? But the thing is, you know what I'm saying? Like, the people that are screaming that shit are the ones screaming that shit on, the, on behalf of their humanity. You know what I'm saying? Something that you brought up a couple episodes ago and shit that was a very potent statement for me. You know what I'm saying? About killing the racism. But see, they're going off on this shit on the fact that those people are humans in the way they're being treated. You know what I'm saying? Granted. The conditions that we live at here are not the same as some of those cases that people cry out about in countries from afar. You know what I mean? I, I, I hold that straight up. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if you're screaming on that shit on the fact that those people are fucking human beings and shit, bro, that's the same goddamn thing here, man. You know what I mean? Even more so if that was you in that situation. Well, you'd be like, damn, what the fuck? Well, what we actually need to see is people actually speaking out from the other side saying, hey, those guys need help. Right? So that's why down below in our comment section or, or in our in our info section there, you're gonna be able to find you some links to some places where you can go help out, volunteer and or donate to the whole issues down in Texas. Now I personally think there's a whole big bundle behind that because much like the um, much like the women's rights episode we had the other day, it, there was the there was the the sentiment of they asked for it now they got it as and and that can be as far as as far as having to work and all that stuff right mm -hmm. well that can, same thing can be said for texas who who's been talking about we don't want to be part of your country for quite a while now mm -hmm. right and they want to they want to be all different and shit and now that the fucking they got problems they're calling up to everybody right i got you but let me ask you this question as far as foreign policy goes, how many fucking countries the United States constantly keep throwing money at every single year? Right. Every single year. Tax dollars. Every single year. How many countries? More, more, than, more than you can name. Enough that we could have generators at every single Texas house. We could have a generator, a gas generator, sitting in front of every home in Texas in two days, three days, if we really push the envelope. They did it in lots of other countries, man. <laughs> like in uh, I, uh, shit in Africa, there's many countries in Africa where generators are something that the government puts into their budgets to give to their people okay. because houses need a way to have electricity, you yeah, know, yeah. especially this day and age. So you would think with all the money we can put elsewhere that people in Texas right now should all be in some nice like little tiny little homes with with, with like a log burning, you know what I mean? Everything comfortable for them because we can swoop in. And hand all the, all the help over to them. I'm gonna tell you like this. Sean. Well, let me ask you this Cause, question cause, too. Because because we're ahead. talking we're talking money. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? One of the things I think need to happen, bro. I think like all these motherfucking politicians need to need to take a, a stark pay cut, straight the fuck up, you know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and I say go back to fucking the original. It's volunteer unless you uh you I get would, compensated would, for yeah. your time away from work. Sure. Like I wouldn't say that, but you know what I'm saying? Because I, I think that'd be going a little, that'd be that'd be a little too harsh. Because yes, they are still people too. You know what I'm saying? Like God damn, you just gonna cut everybody's legs out from money? Like fuck this, and I gotta figure out a way to survive. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And do this yep, shit. Yep. All of us I, have I, to do that. We do. You know what I'm saying? But like, part of the reason why 
I mean, I can't speak for all of them, bro. But as far as like, you know, you start talking the structure of life and, you know, how you live and have a job and blah, 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 blah. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, you know, some of them chose that that avenue, chose that platform, also knowing that, you know, it, it is financially sustainable. The only you know reason the only reason for that for any of this to happen is because of the money going around in the government. I just think I just think they get too much. And the paychecks and the salaries and all that. There is nothing wrong bonuses. With it. There's nothing wrong with a citizen who has a job to be granted because of his status, mm-hmm. because of because of his government title, mm-hmm. to be granted some time off from his job. To go do his government work and be compensated a government salary for that time period and then go back to his job. And there's like if you're talking about people, all these government officials getting their legs cut out from under them. Let me tell you something. All around the country and all around the world, jobs go redundant and people lose their jobs. This is true. And people end up on the fucking street. This and is there true. is nobody saying, oh, 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 poor, help them, help them. No. They have to find organizations and, and certain kind individuals to help them. Whereas what? The government officials they think that that now they what are they the gods are they the gods we you know where even the poor have to show up and now, give alms I'll to them you, I'll put you like this like if, you, if we was gonna treat it small frame the government is a club right is a it's a club where the town ordained them as the people to be responsible for upholding rules and laws and distribution of monies you know or taxed monies. You know what I'm saying? I don't say all monies because then, then it's like, you sound like a bank <laughs> or a hustle. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, according to, you know, democracy or whatever and shit, people vote for these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I don't vote for these niggas. I don't vote. I don't give a fuck. They vote for each other. <laughs> whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? It probably be, it's probably just, it's probably just like a case of fucking, uh, you know, having... You know, X amount of followers on Twitter or some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You got enough people in your pocket and shit like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're just going to feed that beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it is like that. I just, I, I checked out on that shit a long time ago. But, you know what I mean? According to the way that shit is set up, you know what I'm saying? These people are in position <laughs> and they have, you know, certain duties ordained to them by the people or, you know, as we the people, maybe. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these motherfuckers ain't doing it. They do, but let me just also say this, that ever since the pandemic, people have been stressing to do everything remotely, and lots of government positions have been been filled remotely. Lots of jobs have been done remotely via Zoom and all this stuff. Mm. Let me ask you a question. If you're in a frozen tundra, and do you want Ted Cruz to show up to your town so everybody can stand outside and listen to him talk? Do you want him to, sh- to be there Walking around the towns, is that what you want? Like No, obviously not. So what what if he what if he did call the electrical companies, he did fucking call the engineers involved, what if he did what if he is con- currently in contact with everybody needed to pick the infrastructure back up, knowing that even if there was no big issue, he'd still be doing the same thing on his vacation. He'd still be having to deal with things. You know what I mean? He's on his vacation. He's doing what he does on the winter time, like everybody does. Mm. But he's just not physically standing in the tundra with everyone else. That just sounds to me kind of like the same old class bitterness. The poor people mad at the rich people. Because a lot of rich people are not in Texas. A lot of rich Texans are not in Texas. It's true. They're not fucking like uh, hanging out down there if they got a place they can go in Cali. They're not, you know what I mean? If they got other places, they well, can go. Well, again, again, you know what I'm saying? We're not, we're, we're not talking about Ted Cruz's wealth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the fuck he his does wealth, outside of being a governor. Yeah, but his we're wealth has a lot wealth. to do with it because it no, is how he no, lives his life. We're talking about his position. We're talking strictly about his position. And being in his position, like, I, here's another example of this shit. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to go back to the old school like you were talking about, back in the old school when... Countries had conflict with one another and they went to war. The generals were on the front lines with the troops. You understand what I'm saying? Right. It's not that way now. Well, back in the Viking days, the king ran in first. You know, but I mean, that's literally taking us. And see, you, our argument is not, or, or our debate, it's not even a debate, really. No, it's not. Because there what? is inside of each one of us. A man that wants to break out and 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 make the world the way it's supposed to be, and then there's a man who wants to kind of like 
scheme and jive in this one and figure out what to do here and just kind of skim by like and and there's some you know the one that wants to advance forward and completely change the way everybody thinks and the one I, that wants to stay back I let me put it to you like this abandonment okay if I let's say you voted for Ted Cruz right right and you know amidst of a pandemic you know what I mean somebody that you know what I mean because you know, some people are really passionate about this politics shit. You know what I'm saying? Some people really are. So, like I said, you voted for Ted Cruz in the midst of a pandemic. This shit happens. And then you find out he's not even in the country, not even in the state. You're like, wait, what? Like, I don't know, what? man. It, passion, it just seems like passion is a pagan pill. It just seems like it's like a, a, like a thing that's like... Passion? Yeah, it's like devil's... It's like a devil's tool. Mm -hmm. Like, you can get so many people riled up over just a passionate thing and... They could be wrong, and see, the whole country that's could how, just be, that's how be change, full of that's passionate how, devils. That's how change happens, bro. Passionate devils. That's change. how, that's yeah, how change happens. Doesn't mean you're changing it for the good. I mean, but see, that's one man's opinion versus another. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's one man's opinion versus another. Right. But that, but this is where it boils down to: is one man willing to look at another man and say, "Hey, my opinion's right," and then that's where it go becomes battles between two people. Do does your ideals and my ideals, uh, where do they clash? How does that work? Because if two people have two different opinions of what's right, mm -hmm. then you can't have a, a coexistence. You can only separate those two people or let them swallow one well, another. Well, I mean, but see that that's only based off of if if it turns into conflict, especially you know, passion does turn into conflict. That's what it's for. You arouse the people's passions, and then you we'll use see, them. Well, see, that's if you're trying to manipulate people. Yeah, but that's what that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Who who do you think said Ted Cruz left? Like, if people if the if the people were like, what are we going to do? And the bulletins went out on the on on their home pages of their state website, mm -hmm. and and it said, hey, this is what's happening. We've got, they're gonna be out on this day and this day working on it. They're gonna be out on this day and this day. This is what's going on. Mm -hmm. Everybody would be like, okay, we're informed, right? Okay. But somebody was like, Ted Cruz left. Everybody look, look, be, be angry. And now everybody looked, and now everybody's angry. They're more angry at Ted Cruz leaving than they are at the winter. Like, it's like, be mad at the winter. That's the fucking that's enemy see, here. No, see that that's, that's the a, winter and the people who want you mad a, are that, always the ones you see, gotta look out for. See, that's a fallacy, bro. That's a fallacy. The you people who I mean? spread the anger are the ones you gotta look out for. Mm -mm. If the, whoever told you about Ted Cruz leaving, that's the one you gotta look out for. Is okay, but here's the thing: is that shit a lie? Is that shit a lie? Is that information a lie? Doesn't matter. Is the information a lie? No, no, it's not a lie. You know what I'm saying? So, I killed a bird once. Some bird haters are gonna hate me now. Is it a lie? No. Am I a bird murderer? No, no. They could. They could. They could make a whole article about me being a bird murderer, and the whole world would believe it, right? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, and I'm sure Ted Cruz is like the same because guess how many people hate him? He gets hate articles every single day. I personally think that he's the Zodiac killer, and he got away with it, and now he's a politician a governor <laughs> you know what i mean so and that's and that's just based off of pure con conspiracy jargon that i take in as facts anyway what y'all think <laughs> i think y'all need to let us know in the comments below yeah you definitely should leave some comments down there and don't forget to shop i sell glass definitely for your favorite uh glass smoking products yeah, yeah. Your vernacular, ocular. Yeah, for your, for your most special, your, your, your tenderest loins. Stop smoking out of aluminum foil. Smoke out of glass. Yeah. Isoglass.shop. Promo code A6 Studios for 20% off your order. Slash discount slash shop. Booyah! But, uh... Cut and paste and dribble and waste. So... And then at the end of the day, nobody knows what the fuck's going on, but I guarantee you, Texas will make it out of here. And what do you mean make it out of here? It will make it out of the issue. It won't. I agree. Texas will survive. And, I agree. And I agree. 
The only thing I'm wondering after this is will there be a big political backfire? Okay, okay. Because that's the issue. I'm gonna, I'm a gonna political I'm backfire. I'm gonna akin this to another issue and tell me if you think this is a similar situation. Right. Uh, when the levees broke down there in New Orleans. All right. When it flooded. Shit. Which Led Zeppelin made a whole song about when the levee breaks. Go ahead. But like, do you do you think this is a similar situation? Um, where where it's kind of like you guys have to just kind of fend for yourselves for a while till FEMA gets a hold of it and takes care of you and all this shit. Uh, who even knows? See, that's the thing though. In New Orleans, like FEMA started coming in at some point. Let's see if that happens for them down in Texas, because that's where you really see if the government is trying to cut them off, yeah. or if they're going to give them the same everything that they gave everybody else. Uh, you know, but just keep your eyes open. You know, FEMA camps everywhere. Walmart's a FEMA camp. <laughs> Walmart's a FEMA camp. They got <laughs> body disposal units in the back. Yeah, plastic bins. Mm-hmm. Lots and lots of plastic bins. Each bin can hold twenty thousand penises. Don't don't smoke the tin foil. Don't smoke out of your tin foil hat. <laughs> exactly.